If you live in Minnesota, you might have noticed that we've had a polar vortex recently. In east central Minnesota, we've had temperatures down to about minus 30 degrees at night. And so a lot of farmers and grape growers are asking, what can I do for my grapevines and my fruit trees to make sure that they survive this winter and they're healthy next year? Hi, my name is Annie Claude, and I'm an extension educator at University of Minnesota. I work with vineyards as well as other fruit and vegetable crops. There are a couple of different ways that really cold winter temperatures can affect grapevines. These grapevines like Frontenac, Marquette, and La Crescent, the varieties that we've bred at the University of Minnesota and that we grow here are very cold tolerant, which means that they can hold up and survive in these temperatures, but that doesn't mean that there won't be damage to the buds that produce the clusters or to the trunk and the woody tissue on the vine. And so uh, often what will happen is the winter temperatures will kill a certain portion of the buds on the vine. And so what we need to do is figure out how many buds on a typical vine have likely been killed by the winter temperatures. And then when we prune in the spring, we'll leave extra buds on the vine in order to compensate for that potential loss that we experienced. So a typical recommendation on a vine like this, which is somewhere probably between five and 10 years old, is to leave about three buds per spur. So if we've had winter injury, that means that some of the buds on the vine have died. There are ways to calculate how many buds have died in your vineyard. Um, and we have another video where you can learn how to do that. But so far, what we found is that on Frontenac, about 30 to 35% of the buds might have gotten damaged this winter in 2019. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave 30% more buds on the vine than we typically would in order to compensate for that potential 30% loss in buds. And that'll help us make sure that we get a normal amount of fruit for this year. So how to figure that out? Well, if you typically leave three buds per spur, this would be bud one, bud two, and bud three. But since we think we have about 30% damage, we're gonna to need to leave a fourth bud on that spur. It doesn't look like there's a very healthy bud coming out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this next one above it as my fourth bud. So I'll cut here. And I'm gonna to go to another one now. If there's a spur that's not looking healthy, then we go ahead and cut it off and we're aiming to have a spur every three to five inches. So of course, this was just one vine. We all know that every vine in a vineyard is different and unique and there are differences among varieties too. So with this one, we're thinking it had probably about 30% bud loss, but with other varieties such as Itasca, which we're finding to be a bit hardier, it might have had more like 10% bud loss. Um, if the vine was more stressed last year, like if it was overcropped, it might have more bud loss. Um, if a vine is younger, it might not have done quite as well in the winter as well. So there's different variables about that to think about. This is just the general principle. But following these principles and uh, when you prune, thinking about how many buds might have been lost, it's really going to help this year to make sure we get consistent yields. For more information on this topic, I recommend looking at our website. It's enology.umn.edu. We have more information about the cold hardiness of different varieties and we'll provide more updates there. So thanks for listening, happy pruning, and have a great 2019 season.